Alright, so today I've been looking at pedal boards. I've been buying a lot of pedals and uh, it's come to my attention that buying a pedal board means spending about 150 bucks for a decent one and uh, yeah I'm just not into it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and repurpose this chair here because uh, it's just an old piece of junk. We're getting rid of this table so I'm just trying to, you know, reduce, reuse, and recycle. Uh, I'm going to see what I can do. Uh, the idea is kind of go off the pedal train model. Straight, linear, couple lines in between. Uh, angled up, available to fit a power supply. So, yeah, I'm going to break this thing open. I guess the lesson learned is if it can cut wood, it can cut you. So my camera died while I was uh, cutting and chopping and measuring, so uh, I'm going to make a little quick montage video to show you guys sort of what I did, uh, and I'll show you what's almost a final product. So. Sort of took things and chopped them like that. Then I kind of came over here and sort of uh, ripped some pieces down, kind of like this. Uh, so the main thing that was a little difficult was um, I found these here little pieces that were kind of made all nice and pretty with the lathe. Um, but they were originally on the back of the chair, and these, what I'm using, are the legs. So, some of them, two of them came out real clean with the dowels intact. So, what I did was I came over to the drill press here, and I just gave it a little zoom, 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 and uh, drilled some new holes, and then used the old dowels to hammer these in, threw some glue in there, a little tight bond, can't go wrong. Uh... And then I did cheat, and I used some some nicer pieces of oak that I had uh, to lay down because I really needed something that was going to lay flat here so the pedals could sit nice. Uh, right now, I got some glue on there uh, and some bricks and 10-pound weights. Hopefully, it does enough. I have clamps, but I didn't really want to move it around there. Uh, yeah. So for my uh, legs to raise it up in the back, I just chopped off a little bit on the bottom of the leg of the chair and it actually worked out really well. So uh, when I chopped it off, since this piece was kind of floating, um, it didn't chop nicely, it fell off. So I have to file it down a little bit and uh, make it look clean. Not look clean, but sit clean. So you just kind of rub it down with a nice, nice uh, heavy, heavy duty file there. and. Uh, yeah, it'll end up being nice and nice and flat for you. And uh, not sure if I want to drill holes and go and buy some dowels because I don't have any, uh, or if I want to just drill right through the top and uh, make it look a little more poopy. But that just kind of depends on how much energy I want to spend. So a couple tips for uh, reusing some furniture. So say you really like this piece up top here and you wanted to use that. What I did before is I just used a little like flush kind of Japanese style like trim saw. Um, you can kind of just catch it right and just they come off in a couple so it doesn't take long. And then uh, for pieces that get stapled together 
or something like this and it breaks off not so clean, what you can do is just kind of take a flathead and a hammer or mallet and kind of work it out, um, pop them off, and then these staples are going to be pretty easy to get out. Um, I'm going to do this sort of sketchy like here because I guess I could put it on the vise, but I don't really feel like it. Comes off pretty clean, pretty easy. Or you could use a chisel, but as you can tell, this is probably not all my stuff. It's my dad's stuff, so I don't want to use my dad's nice chisels to be doing some like demo work. And then to pull your staples out, I kind of grab a. I like to use these like diagonal cutting pliers. And you just kind of grip it and twist. Um, I deal with this all the time I'm doing flooring work. Um, when you pull up carpet, you're going to have a million staples, so you kind of get used to it and get a little technique down for it. I'm trying to break this wood here so I can get a grip. Get a grip, comes out like this. Come over here with your file and just kind of. And uh, yeah, nothing's going to work better than some good old fashioned hand tools, folks. And there you go. Okay, so I've already got this old Fender 15G like starter amp that you get with like a uh, squire and like a prep, whatever, you know, a strap and a cord. So <clears throat> this was like part of my brother's first setup, but he's long gone now and he's not going to miss her. So I, uh, I'm going to take the strap off of this and then I already took off these little rubber legs. And I'm going to use these, I'm going to use two of these legs for the front base perimeter of my board. And that should do real nice on the top of that thing. I'll walk around with it. Now that the glue is uh, nice and dry. Now that the glue's dry, the next goal is to attach these legs back here like so. And uh, to do that, I am just going to get a little marker here, measure off of here. I'm going to say three inches looks about good. Kind of eyeball your center, doesn't really matter. Especially when you're doing shit.
so it's coming together got our strap up top legs up back a little notched out here for the flushness to work uh, I've got our, some rubber mats down here I want to give this a little paint job not sure what color I want to use I don't know if I have black or not but it sure be nice if I did hours later <clears throat> all right so uh, just a couple hours later here and uh, we're in business strap works up top got all my pedals down there left myself a little bit of room to grow I do not have a power supply right now but once I use the money I saved on buying one of these I'm going to mount one right back there. It should go on nice and easy. Just daisy chaining it for the time being. And uh, let's uh, see how we sound. <laughs> <laughs> 